We're going to work on a Freyer model example for the word square. So this is going to give you a good um, example of how you can use this model to understand some of our math vocabulary words on your own. So let's start by writing in what our word is, and our word is square. So we have four parts to the Freyer model, the definition, the characteristics, the examples, and the non-examples. And I really like the examples and the non-examples for math because that's going to be um, a really good way to dis distinguish between some of, um, especially our shapes. It's going to make it really easy to tell. So let's start with the definition. So there's, I guess, a lot of definitions of the word square, but we're going to go with a four-sided, let me see if I can, there we go, a four-sided two-dimensional shape with all sides the same length. I'm just trying to put in as much as I know about squares right now. Four-sided, two-dimensional shape, all sides the same length. Okay, so there's a definition for the word square. Now I'm going to type out some characteristics of squares. So let's start with four equal, try that again, four equal sides um, all four angles are right angles we can say the opposite sides are parallel we'll say two dimensional again Okay, I think that's a pretty good list. If I need to come back and add some things as I'm drawing out some examples and non-examples, I will. Okay, so for an example, I'm going to draw a picture of a square. And mine doesn't look exactly perfect. It's a pretty good square. So I'm going to add a few things in there so that I know for sure that it's a square. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little tick mark on each of the sides. When you see that, um, that means that each of those sides is the same length. So even if they're not labeled, we would know that each side is the same length. But we can also label these to help us remember. So we could say that this is 3 this is three, this is three, and that's three. All sides are three units long. They're all the same length. So that's one characteristic we have to make sure we have. Um, and then for each of the corners, I'm gonna draw in my little square there, or I guess my little angle. And when they have straight sides like that, that means that they are 90, degrees. So all of those mean they're 90 degrees, they're right angles. So that is a square. I really don't need to draw more than one of those, um, so that would be fine. But I have a ton of non-examples that I can draw. So the first one I'm going to draw, I'm going to do it better than that, is a rectangle because rectangles have 90 degrees they have 
four 90 degree angles and they have opposite sides that are parallel, but they are not all the same length. So to show that, even though you can see pretty clearly, I can show that those two are the same and then I'll put a different number of tick marks on that side to show that those two are the same. So those, that's one non-example. So that's a rectangle. Um, I could draw a parallelogram. And these sides are the same length. These sides are the same length. The opposite sides are parallel, but for a parallelogram, these two angles are the same. And those two angles are the same. So we don't have four 90 degree angles there. So that's a non-example. Um, we could say, we could just draw another four-sided figure. We could draw a trapezoid. Those are a few other non-examples. So that's the Freyer model. It is important that you get all four um, parts of that. And if you have any questions, please let me know.